Hey everybody, this is Tim with Copperhead Egg. We're kind of at a weird time now with the egg industry and the way the grain prices are going high, but our availability of equipment is at an all-time low, whether it's uh, computer chips or steel prices or whatever it is, it's getting harder and harder for guys to source the stuff they need. Here at Copperhead, we do everything in-house, we have it all available. So this is a great time to talk about, you know, buying a new planner versus upgrading the planner you already have. And here's a good video going to show you how we take an older 7000 series John Deere planer and we update the closing wheel system on it. So we're going to go to the spike closing wheels and we're also going to get away from that roll pin where you have to kind of beat that on, beat it off, or most of the times you get to get a torch on there to even get that stuff on and off. Um, another thing we're going to show you is, is updating that closing wheel arm to the newer T handle style arm so you can get that adjustments. And then Again, with Copperhead Egg, we'd like to go to that ball bearing system, our closing wheel arm repair kit, and we'll show you how we can put that on both the new and the old style. So right here, we're going to start showing you how we did that. And this guy, we got him set up, and he ran through the 21 planning season, said he just loved it. Everything was working well for him. If you got any questions, I'm going to put links and everything down below um, in the description. And also our phone number, so if you need anything, you can call us direct, and we can help talk you through whatever it is that you have questions on. When it comes to working on these older 7000 series John Deere planters and we're putting furrow cruisers on them, we have two options. First, we have a bolt kit where we change that set screw. It goes in there and then we have threads on the other end for a 5 8 bolt, just like you'd find for the newer closing wheels. The second option is if you get a new arm from Shoop, I'll put a link in the description for this. Um, but what this does is this takes place of that older arm and it gives you a couple updates. So first thing is it gives you the ability to use a T-handle to adjust your spring pressure. It also gives you the double hole positions for your closing wheels. Um, with the furrow cruisers, as always, we generally set you in the back hole straight across from each other at an inch and a quarter spacing. With this arm we got from Shoop, we also went and put the closing wheel frame repair kit on this. And what this does is it puts a ball bearing inside there. Um, so you're running on a ball bearing, you don't have any metal on metal wear, and it keeps that tailpiece straight when you're going down your row. So when you're centering the bearing housing onto the new tailpiece, um, this is gonna be for all the Kinsey tailpieces here. You have these three points, and what we're gonna try to do is try to make sure we're touching that frontmost point and then centering it the best we can between those next two points there. Once we get that centered and on, we're gonna put a tack on the top and bottom and then you can go ahead and put your one inch bead on the top and bottom. This next step, we're going to bore these out actually, and you only need to do this on the stamped steel John Deere 7000 series planers. If you have the newer style uh, 1700 or 17200 ones, you don't need to bore this out because the hole is big enough. But basically, we need that big enough so that your bearing is sitting through there, and we don't want that bearing pinching on the cast itself. So that way, we're truly running up and down on that ball bearing, and we don't have any metal on metal. <laughs> Sorry. 
Can you get serious? <laughs> Make him drive. When we're mounting our closing wheels, there's a little bit of a guess and check going on. And what we're doing is we're picking the closest point on these closing wheels here. And we're going to measure inside the spikes here and make sure that it's an inch and a quarter. And sometimes it's not exact. You know, maybe you're an eighth big or an eighth small. It's fine. Inch and a quarter is our middle ground. Um, use some reasonable uh, margin of error there. But that's what we're doing. And sometimes you kind of got to take these on and off and change the amount of washes in. Uh, we provide washers with our furrow cruisers, whether you're getting the completes or the inserts, so you should be able to get this set up. And then another quick thing to note is there's right-handed threads and there's left-handed threads. The left-handed threads go on the left wheel, and the right-handed threads go on the right wheel. And that's so as you're rolling forward, if your bearing goes out, it tightens that bolt onto the wheel. It's not going to lose a wheel into the field. Today what we just got done doing is updating the closing system on the 7000 series John Deere corn planer. So what we did is we got some furrow cruisers back here um, on the outside rows. We put the shoop updated arm so that you can adjust this down pressure with that T handle like you can on the newer John Deere planers. We also put our closing wheel frame repair kit here so we're running on a ball bearing. Um, when you're going to furrow cruisers on this old planer, you have two options and both of them involve you buying the complete furrow cruiser or the cruiser extreme. And then from there we have a bolt kit that we can put on the original rows and change that from the roll pin to the 5 8 bolt or you can update the tailpiece like this. As always everybody, uh, please just feel free to reach out to us with any questions you have. Leave comments in the or down below. Uh, get on the phone and just call us. You know, we're always here to talk and take questions and help answer things. Another thing, it's a huge help to us if you can give us thumbs ups down there, uh, if you can subscribe to our page. It really helps the way YouTube analytics is. It helps us to be able to do more with our videos and be more interactive and give you clickable links so you can go straight to products. Um, so if you could do that for us, it would really help us to help you a little bit more. Uh, thanks. I uh, hope you guys have a good day. And if you got any questions, just reach out or uh, send us an email at sales at copperheadegg.com.